Hello! In this video, I'm gonna share some tips and tricks that I used to get a remote job and to go from a guy who works as a nurse in a hospital to a web developer who work remotely for companies like TopTal and Microsoft. So, no matter if you have no prior experience or you have some experience already, I'm sure there will be some useful stuff for both of these groups. So pay attention. I'm all ears. First and most obvious thing is to polish your portfolio. You need to put only relevant stuff on your CV. Let's say for example, stuff like working at coffee shop or having a driving license should be removed. You don't need it. Now, if you have no experience whatsoever, create at least three personal projects. For example, spend one day on each project. That's what I did. And now your CV is not empty anymore. Also, build your portfolio website. This way you have something to show when you're applying for jobs. And you are showing that you're technically a versatile person. When that's all done, what you want to do is to create profile on remote platforms, obviously, if you're seeking a remote job. Like Upwork, Freelancer.com, Fiverr. And invest some time to complete your profile. It's very important is only complete profiles have a real chance of getting a job because competition is too high on these platforms. Also make sure to put a nice profile image to attach portfolios from previous step and to link your portfolio website. Another thing is if you have no idea how to make a good profile, like I had no clue at the beginning, go and check other profiles for ideas. Check best of the best and you're allowed to borrow some stuff. Just make sure it's not exactly the same. After all these preparations, you want a job, finally. I just want a job. I did my first job free of charge. Why, you may ask. When you're starting, nobody wants to give you a job. So offer yourself to do a small one day project for free. This way you will get some experience, something to add on your portfolio. And if you're polite enough, you will get five star rating. So, even though your code will stink, trust me it will. And you will stand out of at least 50% of developers on the platform who doesn't have any projects completed yet. Or they have poor rating, which is even worse. So after first gig for every next project, it's going to be slightly easier to get. But it's not gonna be easy. So what you need to do is you need to use your time between the projects to build your portfolio and gain some new skills. Because after completing your project, most likely you will have some time gap without having one. And majority of developers spend this time only applying to jobs or spamming other people to give them projects. And they see this time as time off. Instead, I see this time as time on. And this is where the difference is made. How much time are you willing to put into work? Create personal projects, learn new skills, see what is highest in demand and learn it. And by the time you apply to your next job, you will be much more experienced and your portfolio will be better and you will have better chances to succeed. Another thing is when you're searching for a job, you should read job description carefully and to write custom proposals. Here the quality is better than quantity. Also, find jobs that suit your experience level don't shoot for the best jobs right away because you don't have a chance. Please, I don't, I don't. Go from PSD to HTML jobs to complex SaaS apps slowly. Understand what the job is about. And if you show that in your proposal, like I will complete this task with this approach or that approach, for example, you will be ahead of majority of people who are just copy pasting same text over and over again. Also, sometimes in the job description, employer puts some text and he asks you to state that in your proposal so that he knows that you actually read it or not. That's another thing. I hope I helped someone with these tips as recently I was getting a lot of questions on this topic, especially because of this pandemic and a lot of jobs are getting jeopardized. That's all I have for this video. Please let me know in the comments below, do you find these tips helpful? I use this approach to gradually go from easy jobs to progress on my path and with constant work to get projects in one of the best companies. 
So these are some fundamental things, but also I do have a lot more tips on this topic. And if you want to see part two of this video, make sure to drop me a message. As always, make sure to subscribe on my channel and to follow me on other social media. Links are in the description. I see you folks in the next video and I wish you a good day and successful job search.